Alex Jackson, also known as Mo Media, Southside Chicago photographer and filmmaker. Welcome back to the channel that makes your media matter. On this channel, we talk about all things photography and filmmaker related. So if that's something that you're interested in, something that you're into, be sure to stick around. And uh, if you learned something, be sure to pop up and drop a like on this video. It helps the YouTube algorithm find my videos and it also helps the channel grow, getting the content out to a wider and broader audience. As you just saw, we just shot this protein powder. Um, it's a little passion project that I wanted to do. 20 second video, uh, I'm not sponsored by this product at all. Uh, I just use this powder on the daily, it doesn't really show, but I actually do use this powder. But in this video, what we're gonna do is we're going to uh, talk about the different shots that we got behind the scenes and the actual shot, kind of a little director's commentary uh, on this whole project. So uh, let's get into it. So for the first shot, we decided to go with the lighting setup with the LED panel on the left, LED panel on the right, and then top down, we had the uh, DigiV 800 and it actually looked really good. It actually made the logo pop out a little bit more. So people know that it's Mass Gainer. The top down light on products makes the item really pop, really scopes out the product that you're shooting. Um, and if you haven't tried it, I would definitely uh, recommend giving it a shot. It's just a quick push in shot. You know, it wasn't really hard to get. And uh, it, it always, push in shots always, you know, just always work because it's so linear and so easy to get because. You know, all the other shots are, you know, you got to make sure things are in the center. You got to make sure you're, you're tracking it right. Push-in shots are pretty easy. You just put it in the uh, middle third of your camera and you just push in and it makes for a pleasing, pleasing, pleasing visual. So for the next shot, we decided to go with a lighting setup that had a LED panel on the left side, that same LED panel on the left. And then we had a fill light on the right side, turn the LED panel on the right side off. And the shot looked good, the shot looked great, but there was this one thing that kind of set it off. And it's the little things, guys, I'm telling you, it's the little things. Jacob went to go uh, take his little sister to the bathroom or something like that, and he walked by. I was like, dude, that was dope. What did you just do? And he was like, well, I just walked by. I was like, do it again. And literally when he walked by, it made the reflections on the product like dance a little bit. And it's kind of like, looked like we were turning off and on the LED, but we really weren't just walked by and it just made that uh, product look that much more dynamic and that much more dope. I, I really like that shot. I really like that shot a lot. So shout out to Jacob. Thanks for walking by accidentally. <laughs> the next shot is the Laowa 24 millimeter probe lens that we had on the camera. Once again, I'm shooting with the EOS R. I don't think I mentioned that, but the Laowa 24 millimeter probe lens, we got uh, him scooping out the protein powder and putting it into the cup and it looked really dope. Just a push out shot, same lighting setup as we had before uh, for the first shot. But when you use different lenses and different focal lengths to, you know, tell a story, I, I think that's really dope. Just get a little creative, you know, maybe go a little tighter, maybe go a little wider, experiment and, and see what you can get. So we decided to use the Laowa and it turned out pretty nice. So for this next shot, it was very, very annoying to get. We were trying to uh, get the protein powder and the chocolate chunks to kind of blend it together uh, in slow motion. Uh, so it was really, really hard to get that shot because you know, you gotta time it right, everything has to be perfect, but we eventually got the shot and uh, it, it turned out pretty well, even though it only showed for like literally two seconds in the video. So I know all the brown stuff that you've seen in this video is not the actual protein powder, of course, because you saw the scoop scooping it out. It's actually coffee beans, grounded up coffee beans. So. There's a little hack for you guys. You wanna make some chocolate that's transparent and you can see it, get some coffee beans. Next shot, we have the Pro Blends pulling out of the blender and uh, this shot was really, really dope. Um, you got to have a lot of light coming into this shot. So we grabbed every light that we had on set and put it in the shot because I think the Pro Blend starts at F11. Um, but when we were pulling out of the shot, when I was sitting in at the editing table, I was like, yo, this is a great opportunity to do a mask, some type of mask. So because at the edge of the blender, you could kind of see there was a little black void there. And I was like, you know, I don't really like that black void. So I'm gonna mask that out. And then, you know, it transitioned to the other shot of uh, of uh, me pouring. We'll get to that shot later. But when you guys are looking at um, your, uh, your edits and stuff like that, and you guys are looking at your footage before you guys edit, uh, look for opportunities to mask. It, it could be that one little uh, edit that makes the edit pop. You know what I'm saying? That one little mask that can make the edit from here to there. Take it from here to there. 
Uh, so make sure you guys are looking for those different opportunities when you guys are editing. So the next shot, we just had Jacob pouring the protein powder into the cup in a very fancy way. You know, I had him like curve it around, you know what I'm saying? Just so that, you know, it just, just looks different. You know what I'm saying? Just regularly pouring it, you know what I'm saying? Just get a little bit more dynamic movement to the shot. Uh, and then I had him repeat that same movement in the trucking shot that I got from left to right, keeping the uh, camera in the middle of the frame making sure that I'm tracking it perfectly. And uh, then the next shot is the hero shot. So the product, the cap, the everything that was used in this uh, whole production, I put it on the table and just pretty much got a push in shot. But you know, I kind of, you know, snazzed it up a little bit, put that little chocolate coffee, coffee onto the, uh, onto the shot and uh, it looked pretty good, it looked pretty dope. But I think future Reese, future Maurice is done. So I think I'm gonna let uh, past Maurice wrap it up. Peace. So it's about two o'clock, three o'clock in the morning. And uh, we just got done shooting this small commercial that you guys just probably saw, like 30, a sub 30 second commercial. And it probably took us about a good two, three hours to shoot it. <laughs> Um, that's how long you think it took? It took way longer. It took than longer that. than that. Okay. It, uh, it felt like it. If it didn't, it felt like it. Anything else? Anything you want to share, share, add to the um, video? Y'all better like this video. It, <laughs> it, it took us. It took us a good minute. No, I'm really seriously. It, it it took us forever. And if y'all don't like it, I don't, I don't I care. Really don't. <laughs> this video is for me is a passion project for me it's something i really wanted to do so and this is actually this is actually our first project together like yeah. cinematic style yeah like, i feel like this came out very 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 well yeah it did it did man you know uh he took a lot of creative direction i took a lot of creative direction he had some ideas that really went well i had some ideas that went well some ideas that didn't really go well like you know uh you'll see it in the Behind bloopers, the scenes, yeah. <laughs> like some things just didn't go well. I dropped I had the my probe lens a couple times. Oh uh, my god! Uh, yeah. so don't tell the rental people. Um, <laughs> yeah. That yeah. was the scariest thing. It like, was. It was. It was. It was crazy. We don't blame so, newer because we didn't have the slider. Exactly. We ordered exactly. Ordered the whole slider. They sent us two strobes. Uh, <laughs> I don't see how you get that mixed. Up. I don't get it. <laughs> I, I don't get, get that. I don't get that at all, you know. But hey, newer, you know, get it together. Get it together, guys. Uh, or the third party. Whoever that person was. I mean, it was somebody who, who screwed up. It might have not been newer. It, it probably was the third party person. But but you, your name, you're guilty by association. Yes, you are. You are. But we didn't give up. We still... Yeah, uh, we did make this little makeshift slider uh, i found this little cart <laughs> in my garage my dad had made it a while back and i was like you know i could use this for something you know <laughs> i was like well we don't have a slider a motorized one so we might as well just make one of our own and this is what i made and it and it, it worked it got the job done but next time we're gonna we're, i'm gonna order another slider because yeah. this 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 is this won't do it just won't do yeah uh it's three o'clock in the morning we're about to pack all this stuff up rip up these backdrops pack all these lights up and uh head home probably do a footage dump a little bit later make sure you follow me on instagram at shotsplay.jacob don't yep. forget the dot yep, yep, you follow yep. me i follow back and um yeah yep so you know me you know the channel you know media just follow me instagram personal page mwjii you got me but um if you like this type of content and you learn something and if you did learn something it's still cool make sure you pop lock in drop a like on this video make sure you uh tell your auntie tell your grandma share it comments you know share your thoughts on you know the lot the lot i can't even say it the probe lens share your thoughts on it and what you guys think uh i'm, I'm thinking about going out and just purchasing and seeing one Myself in the near future, do you think I should purchase it? Do you think I shouldn't? Do you think I should just give up the pro, the pro blends all together because all the shots suck? Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. <laughs> and uh, you're gonna definitely see the, um, another, I guess from a different point of view from my channel. So make sure y'all go subscribe, yep. like, Check out his share, channel. all that type of stuff. If you like that type of content, you know, 
Uh, just go over to my channel too. Yeah, check out his channel, man. He, he makes a lot of really dope banger videos. A lot of, you know, uh, he does a lot of photography. So he does like, he goes out, does shoots, does a whole bunch of cinematic B-roll, cool, cool stuff. So check out his stuff too. Um, that's it, man. That's it, man. Make sure you guys share it. Your media matters in the world. This is your work. Peace. Check it out.